An 8.8 .8 magnitude earthquake rolled through a five-story Scripps Ranch building today. There were no injuries or any damage, though. It was a simulated shaker, part of the UCSD structural engineering experiment. The goal of the two-week-long $5 million project is to make sure high-value buildings, such as hospitals and public safety structures, remain operational after a major tembler. News 8's Phil Blauer reports from the epicenter. Three, two, one. <laughs> UCSD structural engineers were all eyes and ears as they watched and waited to see if shock absorbers at the base of a five-story building would keep it from falling during a simulated earthquake. So what happened to the structure, which includes a fully equipped intensive care unit, surgery suite, piping, and even a working elevator? There was no structural damage. It was a very unique opportunity for us. As you know, it's a very one of the biggest tests that has been done, a full-scale test with all the components and furniture in place. One of the key areas engineers were focusing on during the series of tests was the elevator shaft, which was still intact after the shaking. Elevators being damaged in earthquakes and people cannot use the elevators. And certainly we tell everyone not to use an elevator today. But with these, we want to see if we can push the envelope further. Engineers placed more than 500 sensors and 80 cameras throughout the building to monitor, among other things, vibrating hospital beds and swaying surgical lights. Officials with the California Seismic Safety Commission were also on hand for the exercise. They were extremely pleased with the results from all the rattling and rolling. If there's something, that, whoa, whoa, wait a minute, today's standards, that didn't work. <laughs> we can start working on getting something better. In two weeks, engineers will conduct more tests on the same building, but are expecting a vastly different outcome. They're going to remove the isolators and they're going to test it with a standard foundation in a couple of weeks. And so we expect to see a lot of damage to the building at that time. Bill Blower, News 8. The Seismology Society of America kicked off its annual three-day convention in San Diego today. A public meeting will be held at 7.30 tonight at the Town & Country Hotel in Mission Valley.